Hello, welcome back. I'm John, an old uh, YouTuber. It's Friday today. I did pay all my bills yesterday, Thursday. It's a really grey and dark day because it's uh, winter in Denmark. <coughs> it's Scandinavia. So, uh, and freezing a little bit, so actually I have to get uh, below my blankets. But let's. Uh, so it's 12, uh, 12 noon. I got up very late, like uh, 10, 10 a.m., like two hours ago. I did close my computer for tonight, but my dog did. Uh, Open everything again, so let's put the speaker to 54 and my air fan is making noise because I have some problem with this computer. I'm not spending all my money now to buy a new gamer computer. I need to have a saving like two thousand dollars or more just to my electricity bill and bills next year because we have this high inflation got a very high inflation and energy crisis we have this war in uh, Ukraine close to my to uh, Europe it's less like thousand kilometers thousand kilometers from my country Denmark But let's uh, read, but I need a minute to do myself ready. So uh, let's just uh, like to read this. This is why I do it, because I like to read it myself. Just made a cheap tennis video and did it to put it public. <coughs> and I'm still uh, sleepy. But I like to. Uh, I'm looking at my cell phone. Like I said, I need uh, I need two minutes to do myself ready because I'm old. And now I'm thirsty. I need to go to my kitchen and get something to drink because I'm thirsty. But there's still many hundred uh, PDF documents I like to read, but I could take uh, many months to do it. I need to put my my daily video public. I made a video about my weight cost. For actually, I should have weight. I should have wait uh, <coughs> ten minutes to to re start recording this. So I don't feel I need uh, two minutes to do this. Because I have to add the video to my playlist. I have a playlist. I try to lose my body weight. I lost 37 kilos, but I have many hundreds playlists.
this. I have uh, I have more than uh, more than twenty eight thousand videos and many hunter playlists. So this is a big mess. So I need I need to do this. But let's try to. But I like to record a few minutes before I start reading many hours. So, but I'm freezing a little bit, so I will uh, go into my pages just. I have not sleep enough for uh, many weeks because I was driving this uh, oil truck simulator two weeks, day and night, 150 hours. But then uh, my oil truck simulator did start to crash again. I cannot open a program on my Steam. It was crashing two and a half years. Then suddenly I could run it again. Then I did start to drive like a crazy. Two weeks, six, 14 hours every day. Many hundred gigabyte of video. Then I did not sleep enough. Like more than two weeks. So I'm not back to my normal sleep. So this is it's very fine. This one I don't have to do anything. I just have to to read this. So this is a uh, perfect. <coughs> let's let's read about. Old uh, Microsoft Windows versions histories, and I have rebooted my computer, <coughs> so now uh, the auto reading should uh, work. I don't have to sit do this uh, read page by page. Activate uh, voice. Read loud. Read to end of documents. Microsoft Windows version history. Microsoft Windows was announced by Bill Gates on the 10th of November, 1983.1. Microsoft introduced Windows as a graphical user interface for MS-DOS, which had been introduced two years earlier.2. The product line evolved in the 1990s from an operating environment into a fully complete modern operating system over two lines of development, each with their own separate code base. The first versions of Windows 1.0 through to 3.11 were graphical shells that ran from MS-DOS.Windows 95, though still being based on MS-DOS, was its own operating system, using a 16-bit DOS-based kernel and a 32-bit user space. Windows 95 also had a significant amount of 16-bit code ported from Windows 3.1.3.4.5. Windows 95 introduced many features that have been part of the product ever since including the Start menu, the Taskbar, and Windows Explorer, renamed File Explorer in Windows 8. In 1997, Microsoft released Internet Explorer 4 which included the at the time controversial, Windows Desktop Update. It aimed to integrate Internet Explorer and the web into the user interface and also brought many new features into Windows, such as the ability to display JPEG images as the desktop wallpaper and single window navigation in Windows Explorer. In 1998, Microsoft released Windows 98 which also included the Windows Desktop Update and Internet Explorer 4 by default. The inclusion of Internet Explorer 4 and the Desktop Update led to an antitrust case in the United States. Windows 98 included USB support out of the box, and also Plug and Play, which allows devices to work when plugged in without acquiring a system reboot or manual configuration. Windows Me the last DOS-based version of Windows was aimed at consumers and released in 2000. It introduced System Restore, Help and Support Center updated versions of the Disk Defragmenter and other system tools. In 1993, Microsoft released Windows NT 3.1, the first version of the newly developed Windows NT operating system. 
NT is an acronym for New Technology. For, unlike the Windows 9X series of operating systems, it is a fully 32 bit operating system. NT 3.1 introduced NTFS, a file system designed to replace the older file allocation table, FAT, which was used by DOS and the DOS based Windows operating systems. In 1996, Windows NT 4.0 was released, which includes a fully 32-bit version of Windows Explorer written specifically for it, making the operating system work like Windows 95. Windows NT was originally designed to be used on high-end systems and servers, but with the release of Windows 2000, many consumer-oriented features from Windows 95 and Windows 98 were included such as the Windows Desktop Update, Internet Explorer 5, USB Support and Windows Media Player. These consumer-oriented features were further extended in Windows XP in 2001, which included a new visual style called Luna, a more user-friendly interface, updated versions of Windows Media Player and Internet Explorer 6 by default, and extended features from Windows Me such as the Help and Support Center and System Restore. Windows Vista, which was released in 2007, focused on securing the Windows operating system against computer viruses and other malicious software by introducing features such as user account control. New features include Windows Aero, updated versions of the standard games, E.G. Solitaire, Windows Movie Maker, and Windows Mail to replace Outlook Express. Despite this, Windows Vista was critically panned for its poor performance on older hardware and its at the time high system requirements. Windows 7 followed in 2009 nearly three years after its launch, and despite it technically aving higher system requirements, 6, 7, reviewers noted that it ran better than Windows Vista.8. Windows 7 removed many applications, such as Windows Movie Maker, Windows Photo Gallery and Windows Mail, instead requiring users to download separate Windows Live Essentials to gain some of those features and other online services. Windows 8, which was released in 2012, introduced many controversial changes such as the replacement of the Start menu with the Start screen the removal of the aero interface in favor of a flat, colored interface as well as the introduction of Metro Apps, later renamed to Universal Windows Platform Apps, and the Charms Bar user interface element, all of which received considerable criticism from reviewers. 9, 10, 11, Windows 8.1, a free upgrade to Windows 8, was released in 2013. 12. The following version of Windows, Windows 10, which was released in 2015, reintroduced the start menu and added the ability to run universal Windows platform apps in a window instead of always in. Full screen. Windows 10 was generally well received, with many reviewers stating that Windows 10 is what Windows 8 should have been. 13, 14, 15, the latest version of Windows. Windows 11, was released on the 5th of October, 2021. Windows 11 incorporates our designed user interface, including a new start menu, a visual style featuring rounded corners, and a new layout for the Microsoft Store, 16, and also included Microsoft Edge by default. Contents Windows 1.0 Windows 2.x Windows 3.0 OS forward slash 2 Windows 3.1x Windows NT 3.x Windows 95 Windows NT 4.0 Windows 98 Windows 2000 Windows Me Windows XP, Server 2003 Series and Fundamentals for Legacy PX Windows Server 2003 Windows XP X64 and Server 2003 X64 Editions 
Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs Windows Home Server Windows Vista and Server 2008 Windows Server 2008 Windows 7 and Server 2008 are two Windows thin PC Windows Home Server 2011 Windows 8 and Server 2012 Windows 10 and later server versions stable releases Windows Server 2016 Windows Server 2019 Windows Server 2022 Windows 11 Stable releases Windows 365 See also References Further reading Windows 1.0 The first independent version of Microsoft Windows, version 1.0, released on the 20th of November, 1985 achieved little popularity. The project was briefly codenamed Interface Manager before the windowing system was implemented contrary to popular belief that it was the original name for Windows and Roland Hansen, the head of marketing at Microsoft convinced the company that the name Windows would be more appealing to customers. 17. The logo of Windows 1.x and 2.x Windows 1.0 was not a complete operating system, but rather an operating environment that extended MS-DOS and shared the latter's inherent flaws. The first version of Microsoft Windows included a simple graphics painting program called Windows Paint, Windows Write a simple word processor, an appointment calendar, a card filer, a notepad, a clock, a control panel, a computer terminal, clipboard, and a aim driver. It also included the MS-DOS executive and a game called Reversi. Microsoft had worked with Apple Computer to develop applications for Apple's new Macintosh computer, which featured a graphical user interface. As part of the related business negotiations, Microsoft had licensed certain aspects of the Macintosh user interface from Apple. In later litigation, a district court summarized these aspects as screen displays. In the development of Windows 1.0, Microsoft intentionally limited its borrowing of certain GUI elements from the Macintosh user interface to comply with its license. For example, Windows were only displayed tiled on the screen, that is, they could not overlap or overlie one another. On the 31st of December, 2001, Microsoft declared Windows 1.0 obsolete and stopped providing support and updates for the system. Windows 2.x. Microsoft Windows version 2.0. 2.01 and 2.03 internally came out on the 9th of December 1987 and proved it slightly more popular than its predecessor. Much of the popularity for Windows 2.0 came by way of its inclusion as a runtime version with Microsoft's new graphical applications, Excel and Word for Windows. They could be run from MS-DOS, executing Windows for the duration of their activity, and closing down Windows upon exit. Microsoft Windows received a major boost around this time when Aldus PageMaker appeared in a Windows version, having previously run only on Macintosh. Some computer historians date this. The first appearance of a significant and non-Microsoft application for Windows, as the start of the success of Windows. Like prior versions of Windows, version 2.0 could use the real mode memory model, which confined it to a maximum of 1 megabyte of memory. In such a configuration, it could run under another multitasker like a desk view, which used the 286 protected mode. It was also the first version to support the high memory area when running on an Intel 80286 compatible processor. This edition was renamed Windows Forward Slash 286 with the release of Windows 2.1. A separate Windows Forward Slash 386 edition.